So you got uh, Nancy Pelosi running her mouth again about Donald Trump saying that the steroids are messing with his mind. He ain't thinking right. And Donald Trump Jr. comes out and says Nancy Pelosi has her own substance issues. <laughs> it's probably the truth because she acts like she's drunk all the time. But she needs to go away. She needs to just go away. And I can't stress this enough. This is why we need term limits because people like her. And when you read this article, you'll find out. But she's an idiot if I ain't never seen one. She needs to go. She's evil. I don't know where she came from. She came from hell, if you ask me. And she needs to go back there. The devil needs her back. But we're going to read this and see. Donald Trump Jr. Wednesday accused House Speaker Nancy Pelosi of having substance issues after her suggestions that his father may be mentally affected by the steroid he is taking in his fight against COVID-19. Nancy has her own substance issues according to the press and according to the media, President Donald Trump's son said on Fox News Fox and Friends after he was asked about the California Democrats' comments. I won't get into that. It's obviously nonsense. Tuesday, CNN's Manaraju tweeted that Pelosi, after Trump broke off further coronavirus stimulus talks until after the election, said on a Democratic call that she questioned whether Trump taking a steroid was impacting his thinking. According to two people on the call. The reality is this, Nancy Pelosi was trying to stack literally, probably a trillion dollars of excess nonsense to bail out Democrat cities to push for cashless bail, to get illegal immigrant stimulus checks as part of that package while the American taxpayer gets to foot the bill for her radical left agenda, Trump Jr. said Wednesday. The real problem is that Democrats want to use taxpayer dollars to bail out 50 years of failed Democrat leadership in states and cities nationwide, said Trump Jr. It's all Democrat cities with Democrat mayors and Democrat legislators and Democrat governors and Democrat rules over half a century, sometimes even a century, he said. That's what she is trying to bail out and foot the bill on the American taxpayer. The president's son also spoke out about his father's decision to declassify all Russia collusion documents, including a memo from former CIA director John Brennan revealing he briefed then-President Barack Obama that Hillary Clinton was stirring up a scandal to distract from her own email controversy. It's sort of what we knew was going on all along, said Trump Jr., now that we know all of them knew the CIA, the upper levels of the FBI, the Obama administration, Obama and Joe Biden himself. They all knew. And they let this go on for four years. They let it happen knowing that it was nonsense because it would hurt Donald Trump. This kind of stuff can't happen in America. Related Stories and he's right. This has got to stop all of it. It's got to stop. They got to quit accusing Trump of stuff that they're lying about. They make up shit just to get Trump kicked out. Of, try to get Trump kicked out of office. Trying to make him lose the election. It's not going to work, guys. It's not going to work. All your democratic lies, you can just flush down toward it because that's where they belong. And Nancy Pelosi is for you? No. The taxpayers don't want to give these illegal immigrants stimulus. No. We don't want to bear out these democrat cities. They let it happen. You let it happen. You need to pay for it. You guys need to pay by jail time. Your Democrat leaders in these cities let this happen. They could have stopped it before it started. They could have put the fire out right when it started. But you, all your Democrat flunkies, all your little dominions, de demons, just wanted it to go on because you thought it was hurting Trump. But it's not. It ain't hurting Trump. It's hurting you guys. And I think it's funny. These Democrat-run cities need to suffer the consequences. You want these cities built out, but you're not going to help the people with these businesses that got burnt down. 
You want to bail out the cities? Why? They didn't spend no money. They didn't lose no money. It's the citizens that lost the money. These business owners, these these people that were employed by these businesses, they're the ones that lost the money. Not the city and the state. And why are you giving them money for? So they can fill their pockets? That's all it would be, them putting the money in their pockets, getting rich. That's what you Democrats do. You find any way to get money, and then you fill your own pockets and screw the rest of the nation. Screw your districts. And you know you're doing it, Pelosi. You have, what, three or four houses? $24,000 appliances in them? And your city looks like a shithole? Because it is a shithole? Why don't you put that money on your city? Stop fooling around, Pelosi. Stop trying to milk the system. Stop trying to fill the pockets of your Democrat dominions. Your little henchman. It needs to stop. You need to go. Guys, this is why we need term limits. This woman needs to go. And her flunkies. Chucky Schumer. Jerry Nadler. What's that other dude's name? Shift. AOC. Rashiba Tlaib. A uh, Ilhan Omar. These guys need to go. No more career politicians on either side, Republican or Democrat, House or Senate. We need term limits, and it needs to be now. Go sign that petition. Volunteer to help them pass out petitions, get people involved, let them know what you're trying to do. It's for the better of the country. It's the only way we're going to get these people out of there and get real change. We don't need this kind of change, not with Pelosi and AOC. And Schumer and the rest of them, they need to go. They've been in there way too long. They've done nothing. And ab I mean absolutely nothing to help this country or their districts. It's time, guys. It's time to sign that petition. Get involved. USTermLimits.com. Go there. Sign a petition. Volunteer. Do whatever you got to do.